They're considered post-falls icons and a part of American history. Now a tank and personnel carrier that sit outside the post-falls American Legion is marred, spray-painted, one of them saying war pig. This is against all American people, not just me, not just America. It's not against American Legion, it's against the people. The tank and personnel carrier belong to the government and have been in Post Falls for 14 years and have never been vandalized until this week. The graffiti happened sometime Tuesday night or Wednesday morning, leaving veterans and community members asking why. Well, to me, they are down, putting us down, and all we are doing is trying to help the veterans that are coming home. Many call it disrespectful and wrong. Now the police are looking into it. Obviously, the verbiage has some sort of um, connection to the American Legion. Um, I don't think it was a direct retaliation to the American Legion. The graffiti year has definitely hit a nerve with some community members and veterans. It also seems to be a part of a bigger problem with graffiti here in Post Falls. Police have seen an uptick in graffiti over the last month. A lot of it in the area of the Legion, from fences near the high school to the park. Police don't think it's related to this vandalism. These ones specifically don't match up to anything that we've had on, on any of the other fences, but like I said, um, because they're here and we have the American Legion, they may have changed their style. They have no suspects and can't say if there's more than one group out there, but are hoping someone can offer information to help. And as much people we got here, as much activity is going on, somebody should have seen it. In Post Falls, Anusha Roy, KXLY4 HD News.